Fart Town. This was fun. Are you ready? No, I mean. It looks good. You had that chance to look good at the camera. Okay. Like if you could get some add music with you later. Here you can go. What? Ready? Are you ready? Yes! What do you. No, I'm not adding music. One, two, three. Hello, friends. How are you doing? Today's a Monday, April 20th. And then, guess what? I'm gonna make rock and roll kimchi with you. And read a poem. Um, the poem title is a Bad Mother. I'll tell you why. But the reason I'm making kimchi is remember, like a couple days ago, that I made a kimchi? It was so much fun. And there's so many friends asked me how to make a kimchi again. And remember that I made a whole package from here? It's all gone. So I have to make a kimchi and then I thought, you know, sometimes it's really hard to make the napa kimchi because you don't have napa, like a cabbage near you. So I thought, you know, why don't we make it with the cabbage? It's so easily to get it. So we're gonna make a cabbage kimchi and then it's within one hour. Can you believe it? If we just have a few ingredients that we could make easily. Uh, last time that I show you what we need is just salt. And it doesn't have to be, you know, special salt. But like it's kind of um, the salt you like, um, maybe, you know, little bit of thick salt than like fine salt so you need a salt so maybe like five or six ingredients and the fish sauce and this is anchovy sauce if you don't have it you can skip it and we have like a member salt um shrimp i'm not gonna even put it and so and this is like the plum. Remember last time that I was like, what is this? But it's like a plum, um, the sugar sauce. So plum and then brown sugar together, which is pretty good. So you could replace it with this as like sugar, right? And the main thing is um, chili sauce, chili flavor. So gochugaru, right? But some people don't even like gochugaru, so then you don't even have to put it. Like you make a white kimchi, why not? And this one is like you know, um, remember that we made uh, like with the sweet flour, sweet rice flour, and then made uh, with that one spoon, and then put the six water in there. So this is what we need. And then I had leftovers, so I saved in refrigerator, so I don't even have to cook again. And Green onion, I got the big one. So big one is like, you know, this one thick, like tastes like onion, so you don't even have to put the onion. And main thing is cabbage, right? So, and also a little bit of the ginger if you want it. And of course we need the garlic. And if you want little chili, there's a little chili. So, um, that is the ingredient. So can you get it? Like I'm gonna put on my YouTube on the side what um, ingredients we need and here we go can you see that so i have chili flavor gochugaru brown sugar and then this is like the sweet rice water we put in the water and then make this one and this is like a mash like a plum sugar water and this is like a fishy sauce the anchovy sauce and this one is salt. And before you do anything, first thing, you chop it cabbage. We have a cabbage, right? This is like a kind of hard to cut half, but you do it, right? So cabbage, you cut half any size you want. If you want big or small, you want slice or like whatever. So you put it with the salt water. And then this is like a water salted. And then I already washed it because I'm gonna use it. And you drain it, wash it and drain it. So I did like about 30 minutes to one hour. And today was very productive. 
I cut it and then put in the salt water and then I um, was in the Zoom with my friends who are like writing silently. So after I finish, I just drain it and then I mix it with this one, right? So I put everything in here and you mix it. so good and isn't it easy so easy oh this is a friend like for Christine my friend Christine I know that you're gonna watch it and then you ask the recipe this is how you know it is easy because I gave Christine some of the kimchi she loves kimchi and we had lunch together uh, we met it um, parking lot of where they did to go and then we sat in our car and then we had a lunch day and then I brought her like kimchi that I made the cabbage kimchi about three weeks ago and she just loved it so um, we just put the this is already salted Drained, washed it, 30 minutes, and then we already mixed it, this one, and we just put it together. Then you mix it. I don't know, maybe we need a little bit more. And exactly, I never learned how to major things, right? How much you put it? But I'm gonna put in the like you know one cabbage. How much you kind of need it, and then you could add it more. You could not add it more, you know. And as remember that we love, you don't want to waste anything. So you put it like this. I don't know, do you like a little bit more chili in here? Jingi, you want more chili? Mm. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this is like a really crunch. That's what we like about it, right? A little bit more of the um, chili gochugaru. Why am I not tasting? I think this is really good. And actually, you know what? This one is like you could eat right away. Like uh, usually, primitive like. Um, Two days out maybe you could put one day outside and then um, you could put it in the refrigerator and then it gotta taste it how it is mm. I'm sure really good but I'm gonna use some more the mesh sweets because I didn't put any sugar. So I'm going to use a little bit of mesh oil. And then I think I'm going to use a little bit of the anchovy sauce. And then the best thing is like you got to mix it really well. You know, who knew that who's gonna, I was going to make a kimchi? And then I do really enjoy it. I think it's that. Isn't that easy? And then I heard that like the cabbage is so good for you. See, it's so good. And then, this is like what we made kimchi last time. I wanted to show you. 
Chungi, you want to show the kimchi? That was the kimchi that we made like maybe five days ago. And then this was like a um, cabbage kimchi, which is like three weeks ago that I made. It's really um, smell, but it tastes really good. And so today we made a new kimchi here. So I call it rock and roll, Tana's rock and roll kimchi because within an hour we made it. Isn't it easy? I think this is really easy. And you could eat so much and then be happy, you know? So that is the kimchi today. What do you think? Do you want to try and make it? I hope you do. It's so easy. You don't have to have sugar or you can put the sugar. So basically what you need is salt, garlic, maybe a little bit of ginger, and a little bit of sugar. If you don't like soy sauce, I mean the, the um, fish oil, then you don't even have to make a fish oil. So some people don't even, even put the like, you know, sweet uh, rice. So you don't have to worry about it at all. So I hope you make it and then you post it what you make a kimchi of your virgin. Would you please? And today, um, I'm gonna read a poem. This poem, um, really, how do we say? Because I, um, the kitchen was my favorite, favorite place because I really didn't cook much. And then, um, but you know, usually your mom's staying in the kitchen all the time. And then like, for example, my mom, you know, she is a lot of leftover for we left. And um, when she passed away, I wrote this poem in Korean. And at the radio station, they, when they read this poem, so many people cry and then send me a message because that's like really a lot of Korean moms doing the same thing. But when I translated in um, English, that didn't really reach to a lot of audience in that same way because I think culturally, emotionally, we we'll get like a different perspective but um, Korean moms um, relate to a lot of same emotion connecting with this one. So I'm gonna read it to you. It's called Bad Mother. Why Bad Mother? Let's read it. Bad Mother. So in Korean it's 나쁜 엄마. 이런 엄마는 나쁜 엄마입니다. 뭐든지 맛있다고 하면서 찬밥이나 신밥을 드시는 옷이 많다고 하면서 남편의 낡은 옷까지 꽤나 입는 아픈 데가 하나도 없다고 하면서 밤새 끙끙하는 엄마 한평생 자신의 감정을 돌보지 않고 왠지 제 의식을 느끼며 낮은 신분으로 살아가는 엄마 자신은 정말 행복하다고 하면서 딸에게 자신의 고통이 전면될까 봐 돌같이 거친 손과 가득처럼 굳은 발을 감추는 엄마 이런 엄마는 정말 나쁜 엄마입니다. 자식을 위해 모두 헌신하고 더줄게 없어 자식에게 짐이 될까 봐 어느 날 갑자기 눈을 뜬채 심장마비로 돌아가신 엄마는 정말 용서할 수가 없습니다. 따뜻한 밥을 풀 때마다 고운 중년 부인의 옷을 볼 때마다 뒷뜰에 날아오는 새를 그랜마라고 부르는 아이의 소리를 들을 때마다 자식 가슴에 목 막히게 하는 엄마는 정말 정말 나쁜 엄마입니다. 난 여러분께 나의 나쁜 엄마를 고발합니다. So that is the 나쁜 엄마, bad mother in Korean. The bad mother. This is a bad mother who only eats leftovers and bad food and says, this is delicious only wears her husband's old clothes and say I have many nice clothes who is mourning all night but says I am very healthy 
She doesn't have time to take care of her life, but still feels guilty and lives like a poor woman. She says, I am very happy, but she worries that her pain will be contagious to her daughter's life. So she hits her rough hands and heels. This is a real bad mother who sacrificed all her life and feels everything and has nothing to give. She worries that she will be a burden to her children. So she dies of a heart attack. She can be forgiven. This is the way my mother who sacrificed everything until she wasted away. So when I put warm rice in a bowl, when I see the beautiful woman's clothes, when I hear my children saying grandma to the birds, they say, it feels like nails pound on my heart. So um, the thing is that my mom, when we were a little kid, she never put us to go in the kitchen because um, she doesn't learn us to learn how to make kimchi and or do house, you know, keeping work. So I have to learn. Um, but uh, now I'm really enjoying it, making cook and then share. So today is a quote. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. That is a Nietzsche said. And um, I don't know, that's like a, how you personally connect it. The last time I made the kimchi, it didn't kill me. I'm making another kimchi today with you. So happy Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.